Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Mike G. Nelson here. And today we're going to show you a shoulder mobility exercise. Um, this one's been around for quite a while. I don't really like the name of it, but I like the exercise. Uh, it's a shoulder dislocate. Um, Chris Summers has some information on this on his uh, gymnastics site too. So what you're going to do is you're going to get, like this is just a dowel. It doesn't really weigh much of anything. You can use a broomstick, other types of handles, whatever you want. And initially you're going to start with your hands all the way at the very end and you want to grip it relatively tight. And what you're going to do is bring it up over your head, make sure you don't hit yourself in the head, and then bring it all the way back down behind you and then back up. So what you don't want to do is as you come up, you don't want to bend your elbows. You want to keep your elbows straight and then just come all the way down and back. And then as you progress over time, you can see I've got some tape on here. So try to bring your hands in just a little bit. So that people usually move like about the width of their finger in and then try to do the same thing again. So obviously the closer you come in, <coughs> the more stress there's going to be on your shoulders. So it shouldn't be painful at all. This is primarily just a soft tissue exercise. And one other point too is when you're doing it, we can see from the side here, what you want to do is keep your waist relatively even. So you don't want, so I'll do it incorrectly here. So as I'm coming up here, you'll see how my, I'm flexing like this. I don't want any movement to come from there. So I usually have people roll their pelvis almost back a little bit. So this part here stays flat. And I want to keep this part here relatively flat the entire time as I do the exercise. So that way I'm not getting movement from there. I'm getting the movement from my shoulders. And the last part on that too is that over time as you get better, your progression would be, you can also add uh, weights to it. So this is just a dowel. So these are just uh, some cheap ankle weights I bought from Amazon. So you can just put those in the middle and then find your marks on the end. And then now your progression is going to be <coughs> slowly adding more weight to it over time. And then slowly moving your hands a little bit farther in over time. You can see on that one my left elbow bent a little bit. So that's probably about the max where I want to be, probably go out a little bit further. So, so that's how to do uh, shoulder dislocates. Uh, main improvement is helping with a lot of the, the soft tissue range of motion in the shoulders. So try it out.